He is literally one of my favorite wrestlers to watch right now. He is one of the best in the entire state. March 12th is going to be a blast. I cannot wait to be in the ring with Isaiah Moore once again so that I can finally prove that I can defeat Isaiah Moore. Because for whatever reason, a lot of people seem to think that I'm the underdog going into this match and I should be afraid of Isaiah Moore. Why? Why? Because he was on AEW Dark? Listen, I don't care how many times he's been on AEW Dark. How about how many times has he lost on AEW Dark? You know how many times I've lost on Dark? Zero. Forever Young is undefeated in AEW Dark. And Isaiah, why are you on Dark anyway? You can make it on regular AEW? And since we want to talk about wins and losses, Isaiah, how many times have you lost in Metro Pro Wrestling? We debuted around the same time, and you know who has more losses? You. You know who has more wins? Me. In fact, I've only been pinned at Metro Pro Wrestling by one guy, one time, and that was by Top Notch Jason Hotch, who currently holds two of the top titles in the whole entire promotion. And Isaiah Moore, uh, newsflash, you're not top notch. In fact, I got a new nickname for you. Instead of calling yourself the human highlight, Isaiah Moore, you call yourself the runner up, Isaiah Moore. Because you were that close to defeating Forever Young, but you did it. Just like you were that close to being on AEW, but you did it because you're always second best. You're like the Dolph Ziggler of Metro Pro Wrestling. We can always throw you in to have a good match, but we don't really expect a win from you. So sure, you'll steal the show, but the winner, come March 12th, will be Forever Young. I'll see you on March 12th. And in case you forgot!